Genetic makeup has a central role in all organisms, from bacteria to humans. At Stockholm University, research in this area is at the highest international level, including about how RNA in the nerve cells influence the brain. Scientists want to know more about the brain's brakes and accelerators. So we think that we can explain, so we're focused on, on expression in the brain and there's a couple of proteins or different proteins in the brain, the, some receptor proteins in the brain that we are especially interested in and how they are varied. And uh, if, you can, if you can explain how this variation happens, then you can maybe uh, explain the, the balance in the inhibitory and, and the excitatory the, the break and the, the gas in the, in the um, nerve system, in, in, in the um, uh, neural um, transmission, in the expression of, of uh, uh, in, in the neural cells. And if, if, if the balance between neuron transmission can be um, revealed, then you can maybe explain why people can get uh, different diseases like uh, schizophrenia or uh, monodepression and things like that. Another team is investigating a group of proteins called chaperones. These help other important proteins in cells fold into functional forms. If the chaperones don't function properly, cells die. And even minor malfunctions can cause serious problems, including human disease. We can take an example from, from from everyday life, we can take an example from cancer. What happens in cancer patients is often that mutations have accumulated or have accumulated in, uh, on, in the genome. And these mutations, they result in proteins that don't fold well. And this has severe consequences for, uh, for the poor uh, individual that, that carries them. I mean, with the development of, of, of growing cells and tumors and cancer. The big use of understanding protein folding and protein folding that's mediated by these chaperones is that we can uh, possibly in the future manipulate these processes. And what I mean with that, manipulating them, is that we can intervene with drugs. Um, so I see the possibility to, to derive active uh, components, drugs, that can facilitate these folding processes and thereby affect human health while, while helping prevent disease.